congratulations on what is quite a big anniversary today. Of course, um, when you reach these huge anniversaries, there are a lot of conversations about what happened on that day and, and the fact that families would say that they still need to get justice for what happened on that day. The Bloody Sunday families, um, unlike many of the victims um, in Northern Ireland, had a huge uh, in public inquiry. In fact, they've had a number of public inquiries. Um, and you will recall, of course, Deanna back in 2010, David Cameron as Prime Minister, uh, apologising directly to the families and saying that what happened in Londonderry was uh, unjustified and unjustifiable. Um, but you've also mentioned in your introduction now that 1972 was the worst year of the Troubles in terms of casualties. Nearly 500 people uh, were killed, uh, many thousands uh, injured. Um, three days before Bloody Sunday, we had the murder of two police officers in Londonderry. Sergeant Peter Gilgon, uh, Constable David Montgomery. We remembered their 50th anniversary just a few days ago. And these anniversaries are always so very, very difficult um, for all of us, uh, but particularly for the families, because regardless of how people uh, met their death here in Northern Ireland, it's the family's devastation uh, which we must remember uh, today. 1972, off year, we had Bloody Friday in July of that year where the IRA placed a number of bombs around Belfast and uh, nine people were killed on that day as well. Uh, and indeed, a number of uh, hundreds of people were, were injured on that day, people running from one place only to run into the bomb in another area of Belfast. So 1972, uh, I was born in 1970. 72 was an awful, awful year for Northern Ireland. And I have to say, whilst um, we still have our difficulties in Northern Ireland, we still have our, our problems. Um, I am very pleased to say that uh, we're in a place now where we're much more at peace uh, with ourselves. Uh, it's a case that uh, we are working through politics now. We're not working through the street disorder and the violence that we've seen in the past. And for me, uh, that's the big positive because uh, the great C.S. Lewis used to say, uh, you know, uh, day by day, you don't think things change. But when you look back, everything is different and everything is different. And I'm very thankful for it.